Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we sailed 170 nautical miles from Santa Maria Bay to Cabo San Lucas. Last night we arrived at Cabo San Lucas. We arrived at 1am, so we we're a little bit tired this morning, but we've woken up to jet skis and people having a great time out here. Um, there's massive resorts on the beach. It's like pretty crazy. We haven't been anywhere like this for a little while. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It's way warmer here. There's so many people and there's a massive big cruise ship behind us and our friends are anchored right next to us which we didn't know until we woke up this morning. There's a little bit of wake, we're rolling a little bit but I'm not really as rocky as San Diego by the way. San Diego was pretty rocky so look at this water. It had been a while since we had provisioned, so when we arrived, we took up the offer from our friends Memo and Lindsay to get a ride with their friend Enrico to Costco to stock up on food. Fully loaded. <laughs> We were loving the warm weather and warmer water for the first time on Catalpa 2. We really enjoy our new home, having friends on board and just chilling at an anchorage was really nice. This year was a lot of hard work and it came with a lot of challenges and these moments made us realise it was all worth it. But it wouldn't be honest if we said it was always sunshine and no drama, and today was no exception. Anchoring your home in new places all the time means you are met with different conditions, and unless it's super shallow and clear water, you never quite know what's underneath your anchor, or what the weather has in store. Night Runner was fouled on something. It was too deep for them to check, as it dragged into 40 metres of water. So they organised a diver to free up the anchor. The divers were booked in for today to come out and um, unfoul the anchor, but we had a front come through in between. So our friends dragged, there's a number of sailboats that's dragged. I'll just show you over here. Big boat over here just slipped, but just behind it you can see a um, local authorities of uh, just towing in a little sailboat here. You've just got to be careful with the anchorage. Morning. Morning. <laughs> How's it look? It's Ben, huh? No, it's just it's like it. Yeah, it's Oh, it's not so strong. Then look, you have that pot eye inside. I don't remember it, but that potentially really. So we've been having trouble with our infurling boom on our mainsail. The mizzen is pretty good. We actually really like it. It folds in and out really easily, but our mainsail has been giving us a little bit of drama. And it's mostly due to the battens. The, on the sail have all come apart, the stitching's come apart and the battens are actually poking out so as we roll up that it gets to the batten part and then it, it, it stops us filling it in. Memo that we met off the other boat is actually a rigger by trade and he's just up there with Lee at the moment. He's kindly offered to sew the battens back into place but the boys are just looking at the boom at the moment. I don't know the terminology but the pole or the something, the furler that's inside the boom is it looks like it's like not solid. Anyway, Lee will tell you more exactly what's going on, but they've taken off the mainsail so we can repair it. Yeah, super helpful because it's we're just coming into here especially. We, it was really dangerous. We had 25 knots of wind um, coming around the headland and there was rocks and we were trying to fill in the mainsail and it just was really, really hard and it was kind of dangerous. So we just wanted to try and get that fixed 
and um, Memo's offered to help, so we're super stoked about that. Thank you. But yeah, Lee will tell you all about it after they're done, I'm sure. All right, so early days, we're just having a look at the mainsail now. The furler that runs through the boom has a nut at the end, which we assume there's a rod going from one end to the other, uh, partially threaded, and this nut was about to fall off. So I'm just gonna grab a socket now, put it on this, tighten it up and see if we can get a bit of the flex out of the foil and go from there. Battens are hanging out of the sails. Memo's uh, got a sewing machine here and we're gonna attack that later. Thank get it tight you. again. <laughs> and get it tight and I don't know, we'll see how we go. Early days, we just started, so head down, bum up, we'll get into it. What? I got all blunt bits from the engine work. making a pin so it doesn't come undone. Yeah, cause I did tighten this. Mind you, it was an old. Oh, this, this could go inside. Yeah. So I'm gonna, so this actually got tightened up. It, it looks okay, but it is a nylock and it's been put on once and then you use them twice, three times, they don't work as efficiently. Um, but I don't like it anyway. I'm gonna put a pin in there so it can't undo. So I've got myself a little pin. I'm gonna drill a hole here top and bottom and then I'll put it on where I want it I'll drill through the rod and then I'll put a pin in there we go thanks memo he managed to recycle a little bit of the webbing off a couple of old sails that he had on the boat the battens had popped out of the old sail cloth memo managed to stitch some new ones up and we're back in action having my mud water because that's how I start my day every day because it's a healthy delicious drink that I love and gives me lots of energy going to go and hunt for some little baby rays there's like schools of them in this bay so if you two want to try out some mud water if you think this would be a delicious drink that you would like to try you can use the code Catalpa mud and you'll get 15% off with your order super healthy it's got so many organic ingredients and good things for you it's really really good we love drinking mud water so uh Cheers! Just to hear a sound If someone's still around She heard me calling She heard me say her name But she hides away Today, there's no wind. It's so perfect. These are our patches. Yeah. Thanks to Memo, the baton shouldn't come out anymore. Oh, yeah. Like, we go into a hex bit or a um, normal drill bit? Uh, to a hex. Cool. They are, uh... Got our gloves on, a little bit of PPE, personal protective equipment. When you're working with fiberglass battens, it's not a bad idea to put a set of gloves on, otherwise it might get a little itchy. Oh, I'm looking pretty tight. Nice. Yeah. I think that's going to work. Yeah, that's so good. You're the man. Oh, okay. Yeah, you went through it. Yeah. <laughs> so it was all hands on deck 
and we managed to get the new sail back in its track, back in its furler, and back in action. Mm, it's rolling in way easier. Hey, it is twice coming in here like, at night. So after a little play around with the in-boom furling, we managed to tighten up the shaft inside the furler. We installed a pin so that it couldn't unwind itself again. I think that was half our problem. So hopefully we'll have a sail that's furling beautifully in and out. She's not perfect, but until we get a new sail, she's definitely gonna do the job. We are, Lee and I are gonna go trolling a lure. Last time we did not, we were not successful. We're gonna have another go, so. I'm gonna put on the good luck shirt given to me in one of the early episodes. Who knows where this one come from? It looks anyway, like he's got lots of fish in it. Cut a few fish, there's a bit of blood on there. But, uh, let's go try it out. See if we can catch some fish. This is actually a reserve, so we're gonna just boogie on out of here yeah. and um, get out of the reserve. We're gonna use the old thong today. Not the one you stick up your ass, ladies and gentlemen, but this one here, we call it the thong lure. Tars deplugged the other day and I used that to wrap our little line up, so our little bungee cord that we towed becoming quite a fan of that guys so let's see how it works in the tender baby hold on to it hold on to it hold on to it all right i've just got to get this other line out of the road i'm just going to slow down and put the camera down we have got a ripper on guys hold on i've got to get this line here holding it up it one if it goes slack baby Just keep winding when it goes slack. That's keep wind, 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 wind. As quick as you can. As quick as you can when it's, co it's coming at us. She's working that stick. Look at her go. Look at that green, ladies and gentlemen. Hello! This is dinner, baby. Woo! Sun's just about to go down, guys. We've got this one just on sunset. Sarah's is getting a bit of an arm burn. Unfortunately, we found out this fish isn't the greatest eating, but our favorite thing about this place, hands down, was the mobula rays. You couldn't not smile when you see these little cute rays. I'm not sure if they're getting chased or a mating ritual, but I like to think they are just jumping for joy. It was time to pull the anchor and be on the move once again. All right guys, so we're leaving Cabo San Lucas. Uh, we've only got a 15 mile passage ahead of us today. We'll get the boat all secure and then try and get a whole day surfing in and uh, then we'll get out of the marina tomorrow. As much as we like to stay in there, it's not good for the cruising kitty. And in this case, the uh, haul out kitty, because we're on our way to Puerto Penasco, slowly hopping our way up the Sea of Cortez to haul out and clean the bum on this old girl. Day, and we should be 
arriving about 10 a.m. Doesn't look like there's much swell though, so I don't know how we're gonna go surfing wise, but we'll see. Hopefully we get some waves. Lee caught a fish today, but it was one of those ones we caught last night. It's terrible, so we let him go. Well, I mean, it was a big tuna, but it wasn't. Pretty bummed we haven't got a proper fish off this boat yet, but anyway. Plenty of time, guys, plenty of time. A little bit of wind, got a sail out. Still got the motor on, but we're going six knots. We're coming into the marina. It's pretty fancy in here. As always, thanks so much for watching. See you next week as we explore San Jose del Cabo.